Hello, my name is Robert Hodges and I'm the CEO of Altenity. At Altenity, we work constantly with ClickHouse and we naturally learn a lot of nice tricks for using it more easily. I'd like to show you one of my favorites today, which is an easier way to create tables that use the replicated merge tree engine. Let's go ahead and fire up ClickHouse client and connect to our ClickHouse server. We're now talking to a ClickHouse cluster that has two servers that are replicas. Let's go ahead and use the traditional way of creating a replicated table. I'll show you an example of it. One of the things you'll notice is that this table, this create table command, uses the replicated merge tree uh, uh, engine. And it has this rather complicated path consisting of tokens as well as macros like cluster, shard, and database. These paths have always been a little bit difficult to manage because you have to remember how to, you know, you have to be consistent about creating them. Also, they can go out of date when the table is, is renamed. Well, that pain is over. There's a few years ago, ClickHouse introduced the atomic database type and it introduced a new way internally of naming tables that also had the side effect of allowing us to do away with these complex arguments. Let's go ahead and clear that command off and go ahead and execute a better form that doesn't include the arguments. Here we go. So you'll notice that this says engine equals replicated merge tree, and that's it. ClickHouse is, going to is still going to have a path because the path is used to store the metadata in ClickHouse Keeper. This is the information that's used so that replica, so that table replicas can uh, replicate parts between each other. But we don't have to worry about how that path is constructed because ClickHouse is going to take care of it for us. Let's go ahead and execute this command. Off we go. As simple as that, our table is created and we can see that two copies were made. Let's just double check that it accepts data. Here we go. Put some data in, so the table seems to be functioning correctly. Let's now find out what the path was that ClickHouse actually created. So a kind of simple way to do this is just to run the show create table command for the demo table. Let's go ahead and do this and see what comes out. So here we have the create table command, and this looks pretty much like the command that we issue, except that now we notice where, we, where it says engine equals replicated merge tree, there's now an actual path filled in. And it's of a form ClickHouse tables and then this UUID macro as well as a shard macro, because this is the first, this is a shard, this is a cluster that has a shard and could have many more. So that path was created for us and we don't have to worry about how it's, how it's maintained. You might be curious what the actual value of this UUID is. There's a couple ways to find it out, but probably the simplest way is to select it out of the system.tables uh, uh, system table, which gives us metadata for every table in the system. I'm going to run a select to find out what is the UUID for this table demo that we just created. And there it is. So if we were to go into Keeper and look carefully at its metadata, we would find an entry of the form ClickHouse, Tables, and then this UUID, and that would be the metadata for this table. In fact, before we finish up, let's just have a quick look at the background and what's really going on to make this stuff work. So here's our cluster. As we said, there were two servers. They are replicas. We created the demo table on those servers. Parts will be replicated as we insert data into each of the tables. The parts that result will be replicated between the tables so they have the same state. The metadata that's necessary to, for example, the list of parts that, that each table possesses is stored in ClickHouse Keeper. We just have one instance, but if we go in and look carefully, we're going to see, as I said, this path, ClickHouse Tables, and then some long UUID, which we can, of course, find out by selecting from the system.tables command. So as I said at the beginning, this is one of my favorite tricks. It's an enormous simplification in creating uh, replicated merge tree tables. And I hope it's one that you'll find useful if you're using a modern ClickHouse release. So anything in the last couple years that's using the Atomic database. I hope this has been helpful. This is definitely something that helps me 
If you're curious about it and want to talk more, feel free to contact us at Altenity. Our website is at altenity.com, and you can find uh, you can set up an appointment or you can join our Slack channel. See you soon, and have fun with ClickHouse.